Okay, I don't normally do product reviews, but I found this, and I've not been able to find a product review anywhere else for it. Uh, this came out in my local Walmart around Christmas time, and uh, it's weird because I didn't see it in my store at Christmas, but afterward, after Christmas over with, and when they were doing all their markdowns, I found one, and it was originally, I think, 20 bucks and I found one um, this one was like 13 discounted this is basically a copy of the uh, Victor Knox Swiss Champ I don't own one but I have handled one and I do have a few other Victor Knoxes including the Hercules but this thing is a 30, 33 in one multi-tool and if you can see the back of it it has a lot of features that the uh, Swiss Champ has. This is the box it comes in. It actually had a plastic thing around it that I took off. This is not an, really an unboxing. I've had this thing for a while, since December. It's got like a fake felt inside. It's got one of these nylon sheath things. But it's actually got one of those interesting snaps. It's actually an upgraded snap. You can see that. And it's got the belt loop on the back. I don't like it. It's a little lower than I would like. I wish it was up here. I like my, I like all my tools if I put them on the belt to ride high, not low. And the multi-tool. You can see how wide that is. It doesn't have the red scales like the normal Swiss Champ. It has like a metal type thing. Uh, prominently says Ozark Trail on the side. Has multiple blades and options which we'll go through we'll see uh, if we like it now I'm gonna come right out and just say uh, comparing this to the Swiss Champ, Swiss Champ wins in every way uh, this thing cannot hope for the price that we're selling it for to, <laughs> to equal what the Swiss Champ does however you know let's start with some of the stuff on the outside of the thing uh, right here just like the Swiss Champ you have the uh, plastic toothpick. Seems about the same quality as the regular ones on all the Swiss Army knives I've owned. On the other side, right here, you got the tweezers. You can see those. They seem to be pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit thinner metal than the actual uh, Swiss Army tweezers, but not much. Can't really tell a difference. And then right here, just like on the Swiss Champ, there's a little, this is a ballpoint pen, this is an ink pen. Uh, it's supposed to be pressurized. I'm going to use the top of the box for this. But, let's see here. It writes. Probably doesn't have a lot of, you know, ink supply in it. But, for an emergency, I don't know why you would have a fountain pen emergency, but... Yeah, it's there. All right. Also has the traditional corkscrew. This one actually comes with the little eyeglasses uh, thing. Yeah, the eyeglasses screwdriver, the little mini screwdriver thing. And this one also has where a lot of people put in anyway. the uh, safety pin just a little there's always been a hole right there that a lot of people as far as I can remember I don't think the Swiss Champ actually comes with those two items but this one does alright on the outside here first thing you've got the can opener and it looks like a standard can opener just like the Swiss Champ uh, seems like good quality. All the tools on this thing, I'll show you right now, seem just a little bit thinner in metal than some of the Victor Knox ones. But that's nice. This actually has the magnifying glass on it. Uh, let's see here. 
Let's try it with my previous written word here. It does magnify. Probably not good enough to start a fire with this one. But who knows? I do think this thing will pop out, so I don't know if this, the Swiss champ will. Alright. Then there's a Phillip screwdriver. Phillip head. Now this is a smaller one. Uh, if you can see that. Uh, thicker metal than the uh, bottle cap or the can opener. And it sort of flares out, so I have tried this on some ones. It, uh, probably wouldn't work for some of the larger bolts. Now, this one is iffy for me. Let's see here. If I can get it open. It actually has pliers very similar to the other Swiss Army knives that I've had. Uh, thinner metal. The teeth on it aren't as good. I'll see, show you right there. has the same little thumb thing. But like I said, the only thing I ever use these for is getting hot items off a of fire. I don't really try to crank down on bolts and screws with these things, but they look pretty good. I mean, for the purpose I'd use them for, they're not bad. All right, next item on there are the scissors. Now here's something I have, here's one beef I have with this. These scissors are pretty much impossible if, unless you have a really long fingernail. Then the nail neck on them is in a terrible place, it's right there. And getting them out you know, it's kind of hard. I actually took the little eyeglass screwdriver thing to pr and use them to pop out. They do not come out very well by themselves. Let's see if they cut well. They cut paper pretty good. But then again, they should. Let's see here. Scissors aren't, I'd say, lower quality than than uh, Leatherman, but still good. All right, next one on here. Let's see here. Yeah, next thing on here comes out easy, but it's kind of a pain in the butt with the scissors. So it's got a little uh, fish scaler with a hook remover, I think. And there's like graduations on here that goes up to like two, three inches. So it's a little file does not have a rounded back, so you couldn't use it as a ferro rod scraper. And these aren't very sharp. But you can see the the markings on there. Nothing on the other side. Probably could have done a metric thing there, but anyway, that's the uh, fish scaler. Alright, next thing, wood saw. And this looks almost identical to the you know, wood saw that was on one of my smaller Swiss Army knives. Teeth are, well, they're not as sharp. The one, you know, the the teeth on the Swiss Army Hercules I got actually got there just doing this there. You feel it uh, actually tearing your skin a little bit. This does have a 90 degree spine on it, so you could strike a ferro rod with it. I've always been uh, leery about striking a ferro rod with a blade, the back of a blade that folds, unless you can lock it. And there is no lock on any of these tools, but. And this is not quite as long as the one on the Hercules. I say uh, the regular Swiss Army knives. It might be the same length or the one on the Swiss Champ. Let's see here. All right, next tool is a file. Let's see here. It's got both a... It's supposed to be a diamond edge file. This is very bad, but it would be good for fingernails or something. But that's not great. And the other side is just your regular uh, standard file. Supposed to be a hacksaw blade right here, but this is duller than the back of the blade. It's not really good for anything. Uh, I don't personally look, I think this is a miss for the file. I don't particularly like the file very much. Uh, might be useful, but not really. All right, let's try the, the blade, the primary cutting tool, the, the actual blade. About the same size as a regular Swiss Army knife, but maybe a little bit smaller. Let's do a cutting paper test here. It's a little grabby, I think. Yeah, not quite 
super razor sharp. It does cut, but it doesn't, it's not, I wouldn't say razor sharp out of the box, but decent edge. Then it has the smaller knife, smaller blade. This actually feels slightly sharper, but um, I'll test it on the paper. Yeah, I think the uh, smaller blade has a better cutting edge than the big blade, but still not razor sharp, but close. That's all the that's all the tools on this side of the knife. Also has the keychain lanyard on the other side. You've already seen the corkscrew corkscrew opener. There's a few other tools on this side. You can see them. Let's see here. Not even sure what this is supposed to be, to be honest. Uh, I think they say pry bar because it has a little bit of a uh, taper on this point. There's no edge there. It's not an awl. It's not sharp. So it's definitely not an awl. So I'd say pry bar, but I wouldn't want to. It's thin. I wouldn't want to put any weight on that. So that's a miss for me. They say this is a chisel blade. This is the next tool. It's got a tapered point much more than the other one, and it is kind of sharp on the end. But I wouldn't say it's that great a tool. It looks like an afterthought for me. Next tool. It's got one of these parcel hooks. Can you see that? Uh, this is supposed to be where you can put bags or paper your twine, hang it, use this as a you know, use this as a handle. And then kind of an outdated thing, but this is good for like doing toggles and things. You can do a lashing, wrap your cord on that and use this to pull. Uh, I will say all the tools on this side of the knife are you know slightly harder to remove from the actual thing. Let's see there's one more tool left that I'm seeing. And that should be the, yeah. That's the awl. Uh, it's got the, uh, it's got a sharp point, good edge on it, so you could, you could bore with it. It's got an eyelet, you can see that right there, for, uh, you could sew with it. Um, uh, you could probably strike a fire rug with it, but that would be an odd angle to do it with. All these tools, by the way, I'm going to say right now on this side, except maybe the awl, all the other tools. I've had to use the little eyeglass uh, screwdriver just to get into the nail nook to get them out. I keep my fingernails short, so if you have that, just think about it. Alrighty. The, uh, let's see here. I don't think there's any other tools on this thing. The scales themselves have a textured uh, pattern on it. Kind of reminds me of a cadet. They're probably aluminum. They're definitely metal, cheap metal. Probably aluminum, but they're thin. I think this knife would be for the kind of person who wants uh, a Swiss Army knife, but their budget doesn't exactly accommodate something like as big as a Swiss Champ. It would be a nice gift for like the average person. Definitely got a good, get a good heft to it. Not as nearly as heavy as my Hercules. And I think it are, you know, my overall opinion is I like it, but, and this is a but. If you can afford the Swiss Hercules, uh, the Swiss Champ, or the Hercules, or another Swiss Army knife, by all means go with it. This thing cannot compete. Uh, but at the price I paid for it, which remember was thirteen dollars. I think it's a worthwhile purchase. Hopefully, um, it doesn't break on me. Like I said, all the tools are, I think, thick enough, but they're not as thick as the Swiss Champ or some of the other Victor Knox knives I own. And I wanted to do this review mainly because I've not seen a review for this thing anywhere. So I don't know how many of these people, things actually sold. Like I said, I never actually saw them in my store until after they were already on clearance and there was only one left then. I never did see a display for them. So maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, it's a, like a 
diamond in the rough. Maybe it's just a, uh, <laughs> maybe it'll break in a week. But it did come, it did come in nice packaging. Let me move my paper out of the way. It has a semi-decent blade. Box is nice, thick, sturdy. They tried to make the interior of the box nice. It feels like, it's plastic, but it feels like they put like a felt coating on it. Or, uh, like almost everything Ozark Trail does, the sheath is crap. Uh, I never use uh, never use them anyway. It'd just be a pocket carry. Uh, maybe if they position that belt loop a different place, but you know. I haven't stopped carrying my my Swiss Army Hercules, but this here would be something to have at the house, or maybe put in a in a temporary pack, or give to a friend who doesn't have a knife like this. Uh, my overall. My overall I, you know, opinion on it is, if it was, I was going to do a one out of five. I do three and a half stars. Uh, good enough, but could be better. I hope you like the review. I hope maybe this will, uh, people will see this, and maybe then they'll find one and review it. I'm hoping that I just didn't find the only one that existed because I swear I can't. I have not seen these anywhere else. But. I hope you liked the video. I might do some more reviews in the future. I have a few uh, new toys that I would like to put out there that no one has seen. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.